Hey, welcome back to Home Studio Pro. This time around, I'm here to spend $1,000 of your money. Well, not exactly, but I'll recommend how you could spend $1,000 and get a very high-end audio slash video product to go along with it, right? That's the beauty of having a home studio. It doesn't take much. Now, when I say $1,000, that is no small chunk of change, but only $1,000 to get yourself a studio quality picture and sound and compete with the big boys and girls and the type of stuff that they make. So it just goes to show you how accessible really good equipment is if you know what you're looking for and you know what to prioritize. So again, the thousand dollars I'm going to spend with you here ultimately is going to get you something that I think you'll be satisfied uh, with as it relates to production value. But I also need to set this out from the very beginning. I'm assuming that you have a capable PC or Mac. We're going to need your computer to record things or stream it or switch cameras or adjust the audio. So we will need that. I also need you to have like a reasonable space. I don't mean reasonable space on that computer, although that helps. But I mean like an actual physical location for this home studio setup. And that matters. We have other videos on that here on the channel. What to look for acoustically. Ambient noises from outside, natural lighting during the daytime, how to create a space that's always ready, but you need a reasonable space. I won't go too far into that here. I'm also assuming that you have an Ethernet connection, not just a Wi-Fi connection, but a hardlined Ethernet connection, especially if you're live streaming. That's going to be fundamental here. And also some kind of Internet speed a reasonable internet speed to do live streaming. But if you're just recording videos, yeah, maybe you don't need any of that stuff. Also software to do encoding, either recording and or encoding and obviously live streaming. And a lot of this software is free, including OBS, which I highly recommend. I've never been an Ecamm or a StreamYard user. I've been on the guest side of those, of those platforms and they're very good from all that I can understand, but you will need some sort of software to record what you're about to produce as well as potentially live stream it or change cameras or put graphics on it or adjust the audio levels. But again, at least in terms of OBS, you can get that really good and it's free, but I'm assuming that you have all of that. Okay. Let's start spending here. Let's begin with the camera. Let's get the Insta 360 link webcam. It does cost about $285, more than most webcams, but it has tremendous features that others don't have figured out. It's actually an AI webcam, an artificial intelligence webcam. It's got this cool thing where you can make like hand shapes, like an L shape and, and do this and the camera will tilt up and down and pan left and right. Yeah, it's a PTZ webcam, pan tilt zoom webcam. Now, optically, I don't know how much it's actually zooming versus digitally. I think it's all digital zoom and I'm not here to mess around really with the zoom of it, but the panning and tilting alone, think about this, even in my home studio here, if I, if I wanted it to show you the roof real fast or the ceiling or what's on that wall or this wall or a close up of maybe the, the rack mount unit, I can't even do that here, but that would be a very cool feature to have a PTZ webcam. The picture quality on this, I don't own it, but I've seen it. It looks quite well especially when, when lit properly. So I, I can highly recommend the visuals that I've seen from this camera. It's got an aperture, a low aperture setting of wide open at, at 1.8. Uh, so you can create a little bit of depth of field. It's not to say that you're going to have the same, you know, picture quality as a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. I mean, it, it still is a webcam. It still is a $285 webcam, but you are going to get some pop out of your picture and some some uh, features to go along with it. Okay, audio interface, I'm going to recommend the Personas Revelator IO24. I do have one of these. I still can't believe it only cost $150. You can get like a good interface for $150, but you're getting real-time DSP, uh, effects to go with it, EQ, compression, special effects. You can also monitor yourself in real time, zero latency through the headphone jack out the back. And best of all, it's USB-C powered. You don't need a separate power adapter, a brick to plug in elsewhere. Your computer itself will literally power this through USB-C. Uh, Personas has come out with this product, which is, I think, existed for maybe about two years, one and a half, two years while I'm recording this. It does a lot. This is so powerful. I use this for my remote rig. It's got two channel inputs. 
It's got virtual inputs, so you can play stuff on your computer, like a soundboard, back through the Personas, uh, I believe it's called Universal Control Software. You can also create mix minuses for Zoom guests, for Microsoft Team guests. It is very versatile. It's way too much, like in terms of features and value for 150 bucks. So I feel like we're getting a steal with the Revelator IO24. This is going to be your audio interface. Everything will go through this uh, on its way to being recorded by OBS or something else. All right, your microphone. I'm going to recommend the Rode NT1. $180. It is a condenser microphone, so quite sensitive. It will pick up room noise. More on that in just a second, but very low self noise, not a lot of hiss, um, not a lot of problems. And it also comes with accessories like a shock mount and a pop filter. So those are included in the $180 price. Look, I'm using a Neumann U87 AI. Quite the different price point between this microphone and that microphone. And you know how I feel about this one. Love it to death. But I'm also here to tell you, at that price and this road quality, that is a very good pickup. You can do, like, let's say 80% of this with that for $180. Yeah. So the Rode NT1 is the mic that I'm going to recommend for your home studio. It's just going to have that condenser clarity, intelligibility with speech. Um, I know a lot of people will say, yeah, but it's not going to reject noise like a dynamic. Yeah, that might be true, but I'm not done spending your money yet. You'll see why in a second. Uh, the GVM 800D light kit, there's actually two lights just like that. They come with stands. They come with carrying cases. But for $200, you can use one for a key, one for a fill, or maybe one for a fill, one for a backlight or an uplight. Um, it's got full app and color changing controls, meaning that you can make all sorts of white lights from cool to warm white light, but you can also do different colors. You can do, you know, kind of what I'm doing here in the background with different splashes of colors. So that's fun and that's valuable. For $200, uh, you're getting quite the deal on that. And lighting is important, right? I mean, this this goes to say that if you're going to spend the 1000 we've got you with the good camera. We've got you with the audio interface. You can mix your sound coming in. You can bring in guests with the Revelator, uh, the Personas Revelator. The microphone is good. The lighting is good here. People will often skimp out on the lighting. I'm definitely not here to do that for you in, in spending this 1000 So where are we? $815 in. And I also realize that I don't want to go over, right? So there are taxes. You will need an XLR cable to connect the road into the Personas Revelator if you don't have that already. And you also need a mic stand, maybe a boom arm, uh, kind of like this. This is the PSA-1, actually, from Rode. And they make way higher-end mic uh, boom arms than this. Um, Yellowtech Mika. Look that one up. That one's on the wish list eventually. Uh, but, but yeah, like even a boom arm or, or a small stand, um, for example, you can get even a little stand like this for maybe 20 or 30 bucks. But I also realized that I'm, I'm trying to keep you at about a thousand bucks and we're getting close. We're at 815 plus taxes. So here's what I want you to do. Pay your taxes, get the cable if you need it, get a mic stand, but spend all the rest of your money. And hopefully it's about $100, depending on where you buy this stuff and you know how much, uh, uh, savings you can get and what deals you can get. But if you can spend about $100 on acoustically treating your space, that's going to go so far for you. Trust me, hundred bucks. You can go to a Joanne fabric store and kind of do what I did here in the home studio, create uh, sound panels uh, or even just a big piece of fabric to go behind you and knock down some of the, the noise. Now, look, I don't know if you're recording just a podcast, if you're going to be on camera, off camera. It totally depends on what you're doing here. I guess we are creating a, a whole home studio with cameras and everything. But if you can treat your space with fabrics and blankets and curtains and things like that, things that absorb sound for your room, and it's going to make that NT1 mic sound really, really good, you can go a long way with a hundred bucks on that type of stuff. And it's going to make a huge difference, right? All we've talked about so far is equipment, buy this model, get this brand, you know, this type of, uh, you know, technical piece of hardware. But the thing that's going to make your studio stand out the best 
is literally what's going to make it sound the best. Yeah, we've got some good lights. We've got that for you. But how can you sound the best and not sound like you're in this echo chamber? You don't want this. You don't want your video to be set. You don't want to put all that thousand dollars in and ultimately be sounding like this. No, you don't. So acoustically treat your room. We've got more videos on that here on the channel. So check them out how to do that. Uh, but you want to spend that much at the very end. So that's going to get you to a thousand dollars that goes quick, right? And you could see how it's tempting to spend two and three and $5,000. Can I get this better? And, and yes, you can down the road, but this just goes to show you like, think of what a thousand dollars, like you, you invest that. Can your product and what you're going to do with your videos or your live streams or your, your presentations or your appearances on different shows and podcasts and all that stuff, if your setup is $1,000 worthy, how much is that going to pay off for you in the long run? Five years down the road, is this $1,000 worth $10,000 of something it brought back to you? I think it could be. I really do. Thanks for being here on this channel, Home Studio Pro. I would appreciate if you subscribe, if you like this stuff. I've got plenty more coming right around the corner. I don't want you to miss it. Also, thumbs up on this video if it provided you some value. I'll see you next time.